Um, thank you very much for welcoming us into your space. Um, I call you Brapolen because I, don't say I'm making you old. <laughs> when I say Brapolen, <laughs> you know. But uh, I think the one thing that struck me when I uh, arrived uh, at the house was to see that uh, <laughs> you look differently. The, the drug laws are gone now. What happened to the drug laws? <laughs> uh, no, man. Like you said, the man. I'm old, man. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing this for more than 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So now I started, said, decided, no, man, let me quit this thing. Mm. And I'm a dollar now. Mm. So I said, no, look, I must come. This is my trademark. Yeah. Everyone was recognizing me with this uh, mm. dreadlock style, you mm. see. But now I said, no, man, let me just retire. Mm. I don't want to be recognized now. I want yeah. my space now. Yeah. <laughs> Not football space, no. Yeah. People, uh, I said, no, let me quit this one. I have a feeling that maybe also you don't know people to recognize you anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, you know, I've got a problem. When we're moving around, people yeah. will say, hey, Poland, you know, they're taking pictures. With mm. I don't have a problem. Mm. Mm. But at some point, you know, you need your privacy, you know, mm. you need a space, you know. Mm. Yeah, but I said, no, let me just take it out. And, uh, Poland, I think the other thing is uh, Trompis, the nickname. Yeah. Um, which one came first, the music group or you? Who took from who? And who gave you the nickname? Look, this thing of a uh, nickname thing, I think it was, it's when the, the, the music group was becoming popular. Mm. And also at the same time, myself, I was like climbing mm. the mountain, you know, mm. in terms of scoring goals, being famous. Mm. That's when the, uh, this a journalist, I can't remember him. I remember we played against, uh, we played AC, I mm. scored about four goals mm. in that game, four or five goals, yes. And the following day, oh, my action picture on Soviet 10 there, like Paul and Trumpies in line. Yeah, I mm. couldn't understand why. Yeah, yeah. So, but Trumpies, when you ask anyone, like there's a colored friend of mine there in Eldos who has said, mm. no, Trumpies was a naughty boy, like in Africa. <laughs> so, so, but I think, I think this true group came yeah. when I was yeah. on my, my peak, high peak, you know, yeah. and also the group was music when they were doing well. So we can say you were named after them. Yes, mm. I, I must say that. The other interesting thing is that uh, as you look around our football these days, I want to name them. They don't have the names. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a problem. You know, during our playing days, you know, you may have a ticket uh, uh, You mention Poland Trumpies. You can mention uh, sure. Boshek Skungwa, and, yeah. you know. The, the, but is. nowadays, I don't know, man. Probably, I, I want to be... <laughs> more political but maybe you know when you do well people don't appreciate what mm. you are doing and but I'll be talking about it, so, uh, you know what mm. to appreciate you know so that I, I don't think uh, these young boys nowadays they are, are exciting exciting enough. you know yeah. uh, and people they don't give uh, they don't give their best you know mm. in this game mm. because people they love uh, football, they, they pay money to go to the stadium mm -hmm. and they must recognize once people they give you a nickname you must know that you you mean a lot to them. Mm -hmm. So these people <laughs> these young boys you know they, they they should pull up their socks because it's tough and our football is going down the drain yeah. recently. Yeah. And I mean obviously if you were to call somebody a trumpist for an example he yeah. must to like you or better than you. If you were to call somebody 16V <laughs> oh. he must take it to another level. If you call someone shakes, shakes. another level. Yeah. And if we are to be honest, and it's, it's one thing that I also feel yeah. that the, the current generation doesn't quite measure up to yeah, yeah, more you guys way uh, during, during, during the days. Yeah. No, I think you are right. You, you see, during our playing days, look, the coaches, they used to tell us their, their, their philosophy and instructions, more especially the coaches from outside. Mm. I used to coach by Jeff Butler. Mm. But, but when, go, when you go inside the field, you are on your own. And you must do what you are capable of. Mm. You must show that skill. Mm. My skill was to score goals. Mm. Like I was Sheikh Skungwane, passing. Take mm. take, he used to dribble and pass. You know, everyone had the, uh, that uh, skill. Mm. So mine was to score goals mm. so that I can be recognized. Mm. When you're scoring goals, people will be recognized mm. as a striker, mm. you see. Mm. But nowadays, I, I don't see, I told you, I don't see anyone like being called Trumpies. Because when you say Trumpies, 
you must make sure that you score goals. Yeah. Sheikh Kumwane, they expect people, they expect the Lord, no, no. He must play like Sheikh Kumwane in terms of passing, mm -hmm. tick you know, dribbling, vision, all those things. But it's now we're struggling. Mm -hmm. We're struggling. Trumbis, on another issue now. Um, we talk shortly after um, Bafana finished the third at, at AFCON, um, went to the semi final. I was checking the stats there. You were part of the last Bafana team in 2000 in uh, Nigeria, Ghana, that yes, uh, went yes, all the yes, way to, yes. to the same yes, final yes. and finished third in yeah. Tunisia uh, in the third and fourth. Why do you think it took so long? Hey, uh, look, you know, I always say that I feel sorry for the coaches. You know, when you coach, when you coach a, a, a team like Bafana Bafana, a national team, you don't have the time mm -hmm. to, to to, to, to prepare coach the team, them. to coach them. Mm. Because I think you'll have a certain, uh, maybe a, a week mm. or two weeks. It, it's not, it's not uh, uh, because unless you, 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 you pick the, the quality players and the players that already, like uh, the Bruce did, mm. Mm. most of the players that were from Sundowns, Sundowns yeah. already were so clever. Why I'm saying that? Because he understand uh, Sundown, they had that philosophy. A lot of players, they were, that, that thing, you know, he, he wanted to do like, they already know each, knew each other, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So I think, Bruce, but you don't have time. But I think f taking so long, and look at our game, uh, like uh, a team like League, not convincing. It was not always sundown. Other mm -hmm. teams were coming behind. Mm -hmm. But once your league is not that up to standard, it, it's a problem in terms of national team in terms of uh, uh, producing players that will represent mm -hmm. uh, uh, us to, to the high level. So I think now Sundowns, they're doing well nationally, internationally, they're doing well. Hence Bruce decided now, let me get a lot of players from Sundowns. Mm -hmm. People, will, I'm fair, they'll say, you know, why a lot of Sundowns players in a national team? But what can you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also, you know, it's, it happens in, in Spain. Spain mm -hmm. and Madrid. There was one time where there, were, there was Barcelona players in the national team mm. and Real Madrid in the national team. So the bottom line, look, it's about winning. Mm. It's about winning. That's, it that, that's what they did. They did well until, you know, after so long. Mm. After so long yes. Yeah, it wasn't surprising. I mean, yeah. if your one team is strong, ordinarily uh, you will do that. Yeah. Now, let's go back to 2000 a bit, since we have touched on it. Um, that team was strong, eh? <laughs> yeah, very, very, yeah. very, very strong. Uh, yeah. The one we played in, in Ghana. Mm. Look, yeah, it was very strong. You look at the selection, and it was striking force. It was myself, Bobo Bo, Bo, Vete, you know, Mambush. and, and Mambush, you know, those youngsters who were very, very energetic. And at the back, Lucas had the middle feet, where, you know, you've got the ball. Abo coach the now is coaching a uh, Captain City. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 not Eric Tingler. Eric, Eric, Tingler. Eric Tingler. Yeah, yes. Lulu, Bans Papel. Bans Papel. Like we're that yeah. energetic t a young team. Mm -hmm. But look, we were very, uh, very dedicated and always wanted to win. You mm -hmm. know, if you have that will to win and have that thing in heart, the will to win, you, you, you can win at all costs. Mm -hmm. But we were very energetic. energetic. Mm. So it was like that. Mm. Neri came and said it's time yeah, to yeah. we try all means of law to push it yeah. so that we uplift our flag. Mm. Uh, Rothman, let's let, now let's go back now. Um, I know you you grew up at Kaiser Chiefs and stuff, but before you went to Kaiser Chiefs, yeah. <laughs> uh, where did it all start for you, football, your football career? It started from here in this street. Mm. Yeah, in David Turner, very young. We were used to play, you know, just a normal, I was at the age of nine, mm. just playing in the dusty street. And uh, not knowing one day you'll be <laughs> a, a, a top striker star. and be starting playing overseas. Uh, it happens when I grew up, I was playing for a team called uh, David Turner Highlanders. Mm. And there was this tournament called uh, Toyota Under 23. Under 23, it was played by the, all the reserve side of yeah. these big teams. Mamelo Sundowns reserve side, it was Mambush, Boshu, P, mm -hmm. those players there. 
And on the Kaiser Chief side, you mentioned about, about the, what is this guy, about Brian, you mentioned those young players. Mm -hmm. So Mina, on this side, I was playing for this um, team, Highlanders. Mm -hmm. It happens at Max Park when we were playing, we played the semi-final, no, uh, quarter final. I did well, we played, we were supposed to play Chiefs uh, go, go in Pretoria mm -hmm. and we were cutting razors. I think Chiefs were playing Pretoria Kelly's and, and we were cutting razors. Then, Raida Mufeke, the, the late, yeah. may he so rest in peace, uh, he was an assistant mm -hmm. of uh, Jeff Butler, the senior team. And at the same time, myself there, and he was also a, in charge for this a smaller team. For the juniors, yeah. For the juniors. Mm -hmm. And I did well. We played the reserve side, and I did well there. I, if I remember well, I scored two goals. We lost three, 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 two. Mm. We had lost against them. It happens after that. The following week, I receive a call. There's one guy called Masubi. Yeah, he's, he's, of, he's, he's well known here. Yeah, he's he, well known. He, he, the guy he came to my house. They said, no, man. He received a call from Raida Mufukeng. They want me to come and just make trials there for the reserve side. And the reserve side were playing there in, in the training in Elka. It's far. Mm. Can you imagine so Elka, yeah. David Tone and Soweto? So they decided to so look, Pollen, why don't you go and train with the senior team there in Josco so that you can be closer. closer, you see. Yeah. I used to travel with uh, Mashu Bimesho Makulu from here to Josco by train. We went there. The training was started four. Yes, I went there two o'clock before. Sitting there, can you imagine sitting here, a young boy from Davidon? Mm. These yeah, these celebrities, they were coming. Chief celebrities, they the were big coming. Players. Big players, like about Doctor Kumalo, the you mean about Skara, uh, Tin Duad, uh, the people who were over on the TV. You see, <laughs> yeah. Then I went there. They asked me to come and change with them. I was so shivering, nervous. Mm. <laughs> so I checked uh, inside there, sharing the change room with them. Yeah. By then, Gary yeah, Beng is an empathic um, train my training kit. You yeah. don't bring, bring your own training kit. So we went inside there. We were playing this uh, small sided uh, game. So I tried, you know, they were teasing me. You yeah. know, when my back figures are yeah, there, yeah, yeah. the doctor, the about, about, test, uh, about, about, about the, about, about, a school said they were saying, hey, them doggies, they were uh, uh, gossiping. <laughs> doggies, who brava and when? So, we are last in Jay Paul. And I could hear with the Bakuluma. <laughs> so, it happened. I said, no, I can buy it. The guy who helped me a lot, oh, you had to know, but just relax. Uh, shakes, the late shakes come on. Yeah, shake it. Until now, we were friends from then. And he came to me and said, no, buy it, I have money. Just come here and just, just do your job. You play, do your job. Mm. Just in, don't impress anyone. You, you, I understand you are a good player. I saw you were playing must have been a good player. So we were playing this 11 against 11. So then all right, I'm Fuking was on the other side. There was this thing which Jeff Butler was preparing his side. Mm. Yeah? You will take all these big guns, this uh, team that will play in the uh, one side, one yeah. side, yeah. and Tina, uh, these guys, other guys, uh, uh, the Fatim Latedi, the Sheikhs, who are not regulars, mm. will play them. So it happens that playing up front, the men marked by who Lucas, and I mean, they hit Lucas got there, but I'm 10 and they're going to So it was that's when I caught an eye for Ujef. Mm. Then after the break, water break, he said to me, uh, where are you from? I said, David Tone. And he said, no, look, we asked right, I'm forgetting. So look, this guy is no more belonging to that reserve side. You must go inside. Yeah. And the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. Just first three decisions. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that never, the rest was history. Yeah. So I played for the big team, like Keda Jeep. Everyone was so excited, you know. The following week, my pitch again, uh, Obra K was talking about me said, we've got a young boy from Davidton. Mm. That guy is uh, magic. Mm. He was praising me. Mm. So all the papers, you know, you know when you play for Keda Chiefs, hey, so when I won't get a one like yeah. 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 People were coming like, ah, yeah, you know, buying food for you, you know. <laughs> hey, I know. No. Because you're a star. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so exciting to yeah. play for a big yeah. team like Keda yeah. Chiefs. Yeah. 
Hence, I'm saying now, it's so sad when you see this team mm. not doing well. Mm. Yeah, it's so painful. But look, it's a big team. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it a remains team. a big team. Yeah. We'll go to that uh, part of them not doing well for now, but just uh, your experience is there, Chiefs. I know you went, you went to Manor Rangers and came back, but just to, if you can compress your, um, your, your experience at Kaiser Chiefs, some of the, 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 the highlights there and stuff like that. Wow, you know, it was so exciting. When you play for Kaiser Chiefs and as a young boy from David, you know, big team like Chiefs. I remember my first game, it was at Rand Stadium. And we, I was on the reserve side, sitting on the bench. <laughs> And it was me, Sheikh, Fatim Lateri, Albert Buala, those top mm. guys. It's Karatindra. We played with Peter Achilles. It was packed. People, Bebangas, I mean, I didn't mm. know. I was wearing number four, Chase number four. So there, I'm a supporter, they were asking Sheikh because I was next to Sheikh's school. Mm. Hey, Sheikh, who provided on my number four? You see those things. So it happens, Fanima did. He had a, pool, a, a massive pool mm. in that game. He tried to sprint, but he had a massive pool. So I didn't expect me to come in. Mm. So I was sitting like this, and I was sitting uh, Skaratindwa and Abed The Paul, senior guys, yeah. Yes, those were top strikers. And Ryder and teenager asking me, Hey, Poland, come. Yo, let no. You scared. Yes, yes, you know, I won't believe. I had that knock when Mang Sugan and Yeti doing warm up. The supporters were like, no one was shouting my name. Like, we were so surprised. Mm -hmm. We were expecting maybe if you can put a rule on Skaratin or this young boy, Tudo yeah, yeah. So I trusted her to warm up alone. Shakes come and help me, you know, see Lalipon and warm up. In. Then eventually, Fanny Madeja went out, came in. Mm. First thing, before I came in, first thing, Jeff Bartley he said to me, Look, my boy, I trust you. I don't put pressure on you. Just go and enjoy. Mm. What you were doing in training, just go in, focus, and just play well. That's it. That was it. Clever. Our doctor is cousin. Very clever because they knew that I'm still new in the team. Experience, yeah. The first touch. They gave it to me. You know, gave it to me, good thing, keep it too. Just gave it to me first time, then one, two, one, two. Oh, the crowd was like, wow. Yeah. You know, and I remember I received the cross from uh, Gardner Siale. Then I heard it, they hit the pole. Ah, the rest is history. Yeah. Ah, I played well in that game. Yeah. And everyone was like, and it was on TV, yeah? After the game, we won two one there. After the game, uh, like I, just all the supporters. They were here. Yeah. I couldn't move inside my, my house. <laughs> hey, people are shouting. And I'm saying this team is a big it's, team. It's a big team, yeah. Big the, the, team the, the, what they can do for you uh, is quite amazing, yeah. And, and again, Chiefs is a big team, and the players then, we had quality players. Yeah, yeah. Had quality it's players. not quite the same right now. Ah, uh, no, we had quality mm. players. Yeah. Yes, and there was too much competition. Mm. I mean, you mentioned our doctor, who is ah, Cruz, Man, Willington Manyati, Timothy, yeah. 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 yeah, from mm. Boxall. Skara. Skara, you mentioned Gardner, Trevor Timpool, Shane McGregor. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. Those are top, top, yeah. top, top, top players. Just, just, can you just zoom in a little bit on your relationship with Shakes? The late Shakes, may so rest in peace. Yes, Kuman. Ah, and, uh, you know, Shakes <laughs> was a funny guy. Very funny guy. Hence, I'm saying that from first time when I joined the leadership training session, he was the one who welcomed me and he made me just relax. So from then, we started being friends. Is from Alexander, mm. from David John. Mm. During of the season, we used to chill. You know, come from Alexander to David John, and just to chill at home. Maybe I'll come and I'll go and visit him. You mm. know, we are close, mm. very close. Mm. And he was a funny guy, man. Yeah, 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 a funny yeah. guy. You know, the way he was so funny. And I, I used to share a room with him, a hotel room with him. Mm. So it was very funny. And mm. very, very intelligent guy. Clever. And playing game it was very very intelligent he's the one who was he made me a star with those passes because he used to coach me he said Poland once once you pass the ball to me just run I'll pass it there to you you'll face the keeper mm. and he will do like that he used to coach me then but when I missed the, the, the chances 
Ah, I mean, big problem. He'll tell, he'll tell the coach <laughs> that guy was fucked. <laughs> he'll tell the guys there inside the, the change of half time. He said, this guy is not serious. Yeah. I'm keeping him with He's useless. Man. That's the thing about Bonas. We're Spulala. They give you the Bonas. We're Spulala. But now he was very funny. Yeah. And that's why it changed the chiefs. When then, when you miss chances, they'll leave one chance, they'll understand. The second chance, yeah. my brother, they'll tell you all the players about the poor, about the law. As long as I'm passing, I'm going to be So it was like that. So that's now they miss for the whole match. You, you can't. You can't miss. It. As a striker, you must make sure you score goals. Mm. Because I was employed to be to be a striker. Yeah. Mine was to, to, to score goals. To Inter being a very, very, very uh, top goal scorer, I used to compete with, among, with the best. On that other side, Sandown, Dimas Mangush, yeah. Pirate, Jerry Kosan. I didn't want to be second best. Mm. I knew then. End of the season, they will be a top goal scorer. Yeah. So I must make sure, if I'm not the player of the year, push, yeah. I must push, I must be a top goal scorer. Mm. I was taking everything, penalties, everything. Hence, I'm saying I had good players mm. who understand me. Hence, I was scoring goals. And also, they were supplying me with the balls that make sure that you're finish, you finishing yeah. is perfect. Now, what do you feel, um, uh, Trombis, when you watch ships now? Uh, I'm sure you sometimes you feel sad. Yeah, no, it's so, it's, it's so sad. Eh? Mm. You know, Chiefs is a big team. I always tell people it's a big team. And with a lot of supporters who are so ambitious, who wanted to win all the time. They're so spoiled. Supporters, they want to win at all times. So can you imagine going there and playing for a team like Heather yeah, Chiefs? A lot of pressure. And I, I'm very sorry for these players who are playing for Kaiser Chiefs. I'm very, I'm very sorry because they don't know what is expected from them. Because to wear that jersey, it's not a child's play. Mm. Make sure that you, 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 you perform. But uh, the current players, they are so under pressure. They are so under pressure in terms, and they're putting pressure on them. Because once you start winning, everything will come down. Yeah. You start winning, but the more you lose, the more you lose the pressure, you lose confidence. It's, it's more, yeah. You see, that's the problem, what is happening in the Chiefs. And it's so unfortunate, they were, play, they, they were playing this young team, they, they lost to the net back no young team. Yeah. It can make the things worse. So, and I, I watched that game, a lot of players, they tried, but, all, but they go through, they don't, they don't, they're not hungry enough. They're not hungry enough. And also, I don't know, the training, I so wish to one day I'll go and watch how they train yeah. in terms of finishing. You know, there's this young boy, very good player, Dubris. He's a very talented, good player, he's got pace, everything. Polishing in terms of finishing. Yeah. You need to finish, but they can't. But look, let's hope when time goes on, things will come things right. Will come better, yeah. yeah, but mm. it's tough for them now. I feel sorry for them. It's mm. tough for them. Now, things are happening at Chiefs. What happens from there? The next, uh, the next step of your career. Wow, you know, because I, I didn't get game time, didn't get game enough. time enough. Yeah, because their chiefs, that we had, like I mentioned, we had brilliant players, very uh, intelligent players. The competition was very high, so I had to ask uh, Mr. Mtawong that, look, please, how, how about loaning me someone? Because I knew what you mean. Uh, I've got talent in. You see, so I wanted to go maybe here yeah, in my club of Oswalos local, mm. but he decided to you know, look, go to Deben. There was this team, um, Ratana, Ratana Mauritius, yeah. Yeah. and it was bought by Imani Rangers. They were trying to form, you see, mm. the team. Mm. So I went to on loan them. Then we had about 10 Dance Malisela, the coach, mm. and we had the Abosi Puntla boy, he was playing about Dan Malisela. So we had a good uh, team and Nick Bazooka as a training. Yes. Yeah, we had a, a formidable team, very strong. Captain. Yeah. I went there, it's an Indian team, Manning Rangers. Mm. I went there, there's not too much pressure. There was not too much pressure. The supporters were not that, you see, like Kaiser Chief mm. Company. Then that's when my game, my career changed. I went there, I was a star, scoring goals, no pressure. Understanding, uh, we need to try. They used to understand me because they're very player, brilliant player. I used to score. I remember we played Chiefs. 
at, at uh, Chatsworth uh, Wednesday night. And I scored two goals. We, lost, we win. We win. We won 2 1. So we beat them. So the next week. They said, hey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> next week, then I received a call from the, from the, 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 the chairman, the Casey Reddy. Yeah. And he said to me, hey, my boy, you know what? Hey, your boss there, he wants you back. He's calling me. I said, who's my boss? Said, because you are my boss. He said, no, 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 no. Hey, Kaiser, he wanted, he want you back. Then, you know, it was very confusing, but at the same time, I wanted to prove a point, you see, because then Chiefs were struggling, because of all the late shoes, you know, so they went to overseas, mm. they went to take the the Bufani Madi, they went to take those things. So then I went, came back with the mission that I want to be a top goal scorer again. I went there, in fact, Pirates wanted my service. I had to choose Pirates and play the Chiefs. But I said, no, let me go to Kenya Chiefs because I already understand the players mm -hmm. there and the culture, the philosophy of the team. Then I went there. Then I was a star. I remember first game we played, uh, uh, my first game we played the uh, Aces. I scored five goals in the stadium. The other week, I scored, I think, I scored four goals, if I'm not mistaken, four mm -hmm. goals. In two games, nine goals. So all the supporters now, I was then hero, you see. I was a hero, so for the supporters, the supporters, they loved me. I played well. Mm -hmm. I played well. Mm -hmm. I even being in the end of the year, I was the top goal scorer. No, no, I played of the year. Play of the season. Yeah. Play of the season. Mm -hmm. So I had the trophy there, you know, it was so amazing for me. Mm -hmm. For me, it was a blessing in disguise to, to go to, go to join the Rangers. 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 Yeah. That's where I revived my To get the same time, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you do all these things here locally, people overseas are checking. Look, <laughs> it was, I was doing well, man. Yeah. I was doing well in a sense that it happens. I even received a call, call up from Clive Barker. For Bafana. Yeah, for Bafana. And by the way, it was not easy to get to Bafana. Yeah, no, days. no ways. No ways. You know, when you mention the squad, Bafana, Bafana, top international players. Babo Shoes. Shoes. Eric Helmen. King Club. Helmen in Kelele. You know, Sizem Dawungu. Phil Massinger, top class, Sean Badlet. Yeah. You know, those are top Lugas. class. Lucas. Lucas, top class. David Nyati. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you say, my friend? And a lot of players were playing overseas. Yeah. So it happens that I received a call from the, the national team. We played Zambia. And I think I came on the... I think we drew with Zambia. I came on, the, it was three, five minutes left. Mm -hmm. Then I pushed myself further. After that, after the game, we were just chilling there at the hotel. Yes, Kaiser Mdang was there and watching the game. And he said to me, look, Paulet, I want you, on, when you came back, you come back, I want you in my office. There's something for you. Then immediately, then I came back, they called me in the office. They said, oh, look, there's a team from Turkey. They want your service. Mm. I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe myself. He said, no. And they are coming the following day. They called me the following day. We met, we sit down at the round table. Look, I was so, can you imagine a young boy from Davidton? He had to go overseas, flying for the first time, flying to abroad. You know, it was so amazing. It was so amazing. I came back and just tell, to tell my mother that what is happening. And my mother, I don't know, it was the tears of joy or what, because, mm. you know, she, she was crying. Mm. Because she knew that I'll be away home for a long time. Mm. Mm. So I explained to her that, look, I'm going there, I'm going to do a job for our family. So yeah, she understands. Yeah, it was tough for me going to overseas in mm. that country, oh, Muslim country. The language, the food, and oh, everything. food, language, it's a problem. Flying there, and unfortunately, I was connecting. Lufthansa from Germany to Turkey. And when you arrived there, I was one, one, just check there. No one there. I was having two of them. So, mom, when you arrive in Turkey, there, someone with a black card written Poland line, you have to go to him there. To take him to the taxi. Take you to the taxi. He can't even speak English. 
and follow him, go inside the house, uh, the, 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 the car, not speaking to each other. And I was, hey, meet no You see, I was so scared. So they took me to the hotel. Later, I met the, the, the top guns, the, 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 the officials, the, 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 the management. The, we, we signed a deal. We had to fly from Istanbul to, to Bursa, mm -hmm. my team, where the team our, it was based. Oh, my friend, you won't believe The people there welcoming, I was like, I don't know, the supporters, the whole airport. They knew they were coming. Jesus. With their jerseys, placards, everything. When I came out there, they're speaking their language. It was like, and I knew that, look, they're expecting a lot from me. Mm -hmm. Then I said to me, I had to pray. I said, no, first thing I must do, I must repent this uh, sacrifice. How? To score goals. That's it. That's all. Mine is to score goals. Fortunately enough, I was so fortunate. Fortunately enough, I didn't struggle a lot and not bored. Mm -hmm. It was funny what they did about you. For the same family, yeah. in the same team. So he's the one who welcomed me very well, you know, teaching in the language also, you know. So I was happy. We were there until finally after a season he went mm -hmm. and I was alone. Mm -hmm. We went to another team. I was alone there struggling. It was not easy. Mm -hmm. The language, like you said, mm -hmm. language is tough and the food. It's a, it's a problem. Yes, no, yeah, it's, it's always difficult when I'm from home. It's a problem. Mm. You see, funny, when you go out, you go out to buy banana, you ask them how much, they will tell you uh, 400 Turkish lira. Just as 400 Turkish lira, you buy 400 million Turkish lira. You ask yourself, that they used to f uh, call funny, how much is that? Say 200 rand. <laughs> you bought bananas <laughs> with 200 rand. Yeah. You see, yeah, it was a culture shock. It, yeah. It's a problem. Yeah. It was a, and they could see that you are a phony. Mm. When you come there and buying the, they will ask you, hey, Gilio Yabanji. Yabanji mm. said it's a foreign mm. in, in their language. Mm. So it was not easy. Mm. It was not easy for me. It's not easy to be away. Mm. Um, Trombis, now. Uh, you also played for another team in, 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 in Turkey. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to butcher the name of the club now. Yeah. You, you will help me. <laughs> yeah. Gustepe. Gustepe. Yeah. Gustepe, yeah. Gustepe, yeah. It's a team from Turkey in the side of uh, Izmir. Izmir is this where it's like Devon. Mm. That's where all the tourists come in. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was, I enjoyed my stay there. Mm. And also I was a top goal scorer. Where mm. I go, my brother, I, I'm, I'm selfish. I yeah. must score there. Because I'm net. A, a, yes, shy net. Yeah. So I enjoyed myself then. I uh, guess I remember the Costepe team was from the um, the amateur side. They were just promoted mm -hmm. to to the to the to the top league. So and also young players then. So I have to prove myself. Mm -hmm. And I did well then. We scored goals. Yeah, I scored goals yeah. and we managed to to go on, uh, not tap top ten, the twelve. We yeah. we, we left at twelve. Yes, good, yeah. we did yeah. And uh, there were a lot of South Africans uh, during that time in, in, in Turkey. Some who played in the same teams and stuff yeah. like that. And uh, the one whose name jumps up is Coach Steve Kompela. Yeah. <laughs> I can't compare. <laughs> I can't compare. Apparently, he had a TV <laughs> show there. <laughs> wow. You know, you won't believe. Uh, if I can mention all the players who were playing there, it was myself, uh, Steve Kompela, uh, uh, Shoes, yeah. Fanny Madida, Helmer Kelele. And also Alafel Piri. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. Alex. Yeah, yeah. My man. My man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we there and we we, 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 we we enjoy our stay there. But unfortunately it was not easy for us. Mm -hmm. Because I must say that, you know, in, in Turkey, in Europe I must say that in Turkey more special. When you are a foreigner, you are always under pressure. Mm -hmm. I always tell this uh, uh, foreigners who are playing here in the kind. They are just relaxing, they are tourists. Mm. There you must perform. Once the team loses, even if you score goals, they will, they will blame you. Yeah. But what, why, why do you need to score maybe five goals? Mm. You see, the way we're so under pressure. So everything, when you are not winning, foreigners, foreigners. Mm. That's when we have to pull up your sex all the time, give 120% performance. Mm. So it's under pressure. So, yes, 
you mentioned oh, Steve Compella. Yeah. Uh, Akin Kompel, he had this show there. <laughs> <laughs> he had this show. You did watch it? <laughs> I, I always watch And I was laughing, you know, every time when I tune in in the, the TV. He was, he was, he was inviting all the celebrities. Yeah. The, uh, uh, take it, all the celebrities, music celebrities, mm. soccer celebrities. And he was just a soapy, you know, just uh, like uh, um, interview, interviewing yeah. them, you know. And fluent as Turkish man yeah. speaks Turkish very fluent yeah. and I, I, I used to I, I used to call him said name but you're going to let you one by now he said I hey, in your spot <laughs> and then he just left football he didn't play football he went to this, so this TV, TV yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's laughing but he's very intelligent he must have interview, interviewed you on that show <laughs> <laughs> That way was for celebrities. Hey, celebrities, hey, it was yeah. tough for me. Hey, but we love him. Yeah, yeah. But very intelligent and yeah. he's very soft. Yeah. Mm. He knows, I don't know how many languages, mm. Steve. Very intelligent. And, and also he was the one who was helping me. And in terms of, because at some point, you know, Molane, going back to, and it was one time we came here for a festive season. Going back, uh, we flew together, he said, Poland. Forget about this thing, man. Celebrating, he said, we're going to work there. Yeah. He encouraged me. He said, Paul, and forget about all things. Let's go and work there. Mm -hmm. So we flew together to take it, having fun there. It goes. We're staying in Istanbul. We now have to take another flight to to the coast. Mm -hmm. So it was like this. But a very intelligent guy, mm -hmm. Steve Kombera, mm -hmm. very helpful, mm -hmm. and he had no jealousy. He became helpful and down to earth. Yeah. And I guess the other thing of you know most of you guys being there was also good for Wafana Wafana because you came back with experience to come and help Wafana. That's why Wafana at that time was so strong. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Uh, you mentioned the players that are playing abroad. We had Abu Lucas Khatebe playing in England, the yeah. Abu Sean Buglet in England. You see myself, Abu yeah. Helmet, Abu Philip was playing in Italy. Yeah. You see, we, it was very important when we plow back you know yeah. we play overseas when you come back we have a form of a very strong team like other teams like Senegal teams mm. all their players are playing in in, 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 in those big teams and you know, PSG Marseille mm. you see it is very important we had few players that are playing local so local which you have a problem so we playing Benny Makadu was playing Ajax mm. Amsterdam then so we had a good players that play yeah. overseas mm. now you leave Turkey you came back to South Africa there was a muzzle in the mix and back to Chiefs but back in South Africa the other thing that you did was to go to Pirates yeah it was not easy and by the way you are one of the few players who have played for both Chiefs and Pirates yes, it doesn't true. it doesn't happen that often it, it was not easy yeah how did you get to Pirates wow came in, coming bread from Azulu and they knew that there was my contract was finished. It was only a three months, six months contract with Amazon. I was supposed to get, come to Chiefs, but now what happened? Bang John Jaman, the other party. Bang John the other party. No, besides, it was a business move. Yeah. Business move. I had a good offer. You see, I negotiated my offer there, Chiefs, but they have the good offer that side. It is business move, but supporters didn't understand. Mm -hmm. They didn't understand that because they thought maybe I, I, I'm betraying them. These things, you know, so political. Those things. And I remember I was doing a uh, uh, radio t uh, interview, so they opened all those callers, yeah. you know, just to ask the oh chief supporters. They were like swearing at me. Hey, uh, betrayer. This thing, you know, this, you know, those things. But for me, I understand, I wanted to do well. Came back, when I signed that contract with uh, Babu Bukosa, I had a mandate. He said, look, the team is not doing well. Seven years not winning the trophy, mm. league, nothing. So hopefully you will do well for us. I'm not putting pressure on me that you, those are words from having Cosa. Mm, mm. Unfortunately, my brother, I had good players, if I mention. Yeah. We had good players at Pirates. Jerry's Kosan, the Lays Shisampama, Dennis Lotta, Dennis Lotta, uh, Botumi Sangobi, Tifli Kweleya, mm. 
a coffee sapula, Gerard Rapatlela, you know, uh, Warren Lewis, top players, you know, up front. And uh, the late Les Nimanya was mm, very young. Was young yeah. So we did well. And our scoring goals, our top goal scorer there with 14 goals. We still have the trophy, the parade, mm. winning the top goal scorer. And I was saying that I didn't want to come second place. I always wanted to push myself on top. Mm. But again, I struggled. I struggle because, you know, when you go to the team that is still, still new, you don't know their style of play, those things. I didn't score for a couple of, a month, two months, I didn't score. So the supporters were starting booming. Yeah. And they were starting, I had pressure. But again, Gerard Rapatlela, all those guys there, were called Zapula, they were saying, like, Poland, just calm down. We know we can, we can do well. Forget about it. Just go in one goal, you'll see. Mm -hmm. And I scored against Super Sport there at Fosteras. I scored two goals. The next game, I scored a trick. The rest is this. Yeah, the floodgates. Ah, uh, all the supporters, they were like shouting my name. <laughs> hey, trumpets, yeah. you know those things. They forgot. When you move around there, you'll find those supporters, Keta Chief supporters, they'll say, ah, well, now you're a betrayer. Yeah. But parade, you say, Poland, you did well, my brother. Mm. You did well, you are a star. And also Keta Chief supporters, they are not supporting the team, but my, myself. Mm. They'll mm. say, keep on doing my brother, mm. doing well for us. Mm. Here in Davidson, representing us. Mm. So, Look, it was good, yeah. yeah, it was good for mm. me. Now, the just obviously you have experienced something very unique of having played the derby for both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't even get the chance to play for one. It's true. You know, you know, um, how how is the how was the derby then? I don't want to talk about now because it's quite beautiful the story now. But how was the derby then? Looking at the way the clubs were, they were much stronger. And also the players that play there, there were bigger players and, and that kind of thing. And the occasion was really a big occasion uh, during those days. Look, current players, there's one thing they don't understand. When it's a derby, there are a lot of things at stake. The supporters, the management, the team, the image, and also the sponsors. That's where it, you, you must do well. You can play bad against other team one but when it's derby time mm. you beat uh, you win the derby you you, you the, the supporters they forget all the things they forget what you what you did before. so the derby is very important and more especially in the, when we are a player scoring or playing well in the derby you open doors for yourself national team you can receive an air caller yeah. overseas because you've been watching the scouts are coming and watch the derby. They want to see the derby. It's like the Real Madrid and Barcelona. Mm -hmm. They'll come and watch them. So they, this current player, they forget they were there. So it's very tense. And more especially when I was still playing as a striker, I had a lot of pressure. Because for me, it was to score goals. Can you imagine if you're not scoring? Mm. That is why when you see me scoring, I was like, I was like crazy. Because I was celebrated that goal. Because when you score, I've done my job. Even if we lose, but at least Poland is God. Mm. Can you imagine you not scoring a derby? Don't blame you. But yeah, I know that I'll do well. Mm. But it happens when I was playing for parades against Keda Chief. Not easy. The preparation a week from Monday up to Saturday, <laughs> you won't move around. Mm. They'll receive calls. People say, "Hey, my daughter, hey, speech, you, man. Mm. hey, please, man, make sure that you see a winner, man." <laughs> you know, there was one interesting story. Then I was playing for Kaiser Chiefs. Then we played the derby. I think we we, we beat Chiefs uh, Parade three one. I was taking a walk there at Eastern Mall. There was this uh, guy. They met me. You could see that guy is a rich man. He asked me, Poland, are you playing on Saturday? I said, no, yes. He said, please do it, my brother. I'll do something for you. Then we exchanged number. After the game, I scored two goals. I received the unknown phone. Mm. And he said, no, Poland, you remember me? I said, no, yeah, no. He said, the guy who gave you the number, where are you? I said, no, I'm going to the hotel. We were still celebrating. He came to the hotel then. Guess what? Mm. He gave me five grand. Gave me five grand. He said, This is yours. 
Why you came? He said, No, this is yours. Then Peji Lengaba with my friends. Mm. They had to bet about 50,000 each. So you can see that how important is a derby. So people they bet. Mm. People they don't eat when they lose. Yeah. They don't sleep. But against current players, I don't understand. Are they feeling the pain that the supporters are feeling? Yeah. They don't think so. It doesn't look like the dub is very important. Mm. Very important. Mm. And preparation from day, from Friday, you have to prepare your mind, everything, train well, make sure that you don't go around, focus and stay home. Mm. That's what I was doing. Mm. Because when you go moving around, something will disrupt you. Mm. You know, supporters. You don't want, dis you don't want disruptions. Yeah. I don't want disruption. So you must focus. Mm. So. That's what I was doing. I was not moving around. Make sure that I was dreaming of scoring goals every time. Dreaming of goals. Mm. I was selfish also. Mm. When you are selfish, unlike these current players, they don't want to be selfish. You need to be selfish. Mm. Even if you score uh, 20 goals, it's fine. Mm. Or a goal. Because once you score in a derby, not in a derby, you score one goal, the pressure is like. It, it goes down. It goes down. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I don't think you understand. Well, there's one thing I want to check. Uh, a lot of players have spoken about it. Uh, you know, I, I remember notably um, oh, Bralifa Kosha. Yes. Um, you are from the East Rand. Yes. And during those days, chiefs and parrots were saturated with the platform. So it took. Yes. Uh, there is a story that um, you would sometimes find a situation where the Soweto players were not welcoming enough. To the guys from uh, Tembisa, uh, <laughs> Eastern, Davidon, whatever other countries, or even outside yes, the province. Sure. Did you at any time experience something like that where Makrot Managosu were to, they were not, you know, welcoming enough to guys from other townships? Yeah, look, you know, you know, players will remain players. In any job, when you come in, they'll be jealous. Anyone, someone coming there, and there will be that thing, inferior complex. You know, people think you come and take their job. It happens in any, 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 any like situation. Mm. Area. So look, it happens to me, but at both was, clubs. It, 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 no, not both clubs. At Chiefs, mm. I remember. I went there. There was this thing. You see, the players will take at some point they will tease you jokingly, but they will mean it. They will say. Hey man, hey David Tone, I'm not team now. You see, I got David Tone United or Pino United now. Mm. Hey, those remarks, you know. But I understand. But mine was to play well. But one thing for sure, if you know your job and you master your job, there's no way they can hate you. Mm. There's no way. Because I have to go and ma master my job there and score goals. There's no way that you can sabotage me. Mm, mm. You're becoming friends. Mm. But it happens at some point. I don't want to mention names to this young player. It happens to these young players from Soweto. When the, someone's coming, the young player from coming from the old, they're insecure, but some threatening, which uh, they does not pass, you know, this, you know, it happens. But I used to, I used to tell them, look, I don't want to mention it because it won't be yeah, nice. Yeah. I have to tell them, this is life. Don't do that. This is not, not your team. One day, you'll find the same guy. It's not do that. Mm -hmm. They understand because I was a senior, senior player. Mm -hmm. And I understand the situation. Life is too short. Mm -hmm. You don't treat someone bad. Mm -hmm. But they understand. But it happens, Peter like my brother. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it happened in the workplace anyway. We would never want to be jealous or do something wrong to you. But as long as you're focused, you do your job. You master your job, things will go well. Um, did you win enough league titles? Yeah, I, I, I did. I did win 1992. Mm. When I was 1990, when I arrived at Chiefs, Chiefs was all buzzing there. I was, we won the league, and some. There was one time when we win everything. We won everything at Chiefs. Then I did win the league with Pirates. Mm. And we, we chiefs, we, we, we managed to win trophies in Trophman Cup, all those BP, mm. those things mm. there. It was amazing meal, you see. So I did win enough trophies there. So again, you've done something very unique of winning the league with Portuguese in Paris. Portuguese. I don't think people can do that, yeah. yeah. Now, we are um, here in, in Davidon. This place has produced um, 
yeah. some of the best players yeah. we can think of. Um, even before you are tired. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you know, like it. What is it with this with this area? There is a home of football. Mm. I always call this is home. It's like Brazil. This place, a lot of talent. You mentioned there was this team. When I was, I grew up supporting the team. You know, United. The rabbits. The up the reps. The rabbits. <laughs> rabbits. They were like Shagan Kosi, the great player Kenneth the Watson, Ojoa, uh, Lita Lata. Then mm. dance Mali, uh, Mali mm. You mentioned uh, uh, Oh Makura. Mm. You mentioned about shoes Clive Bobega. Those are uh, world class players. So and goes goes until <clears throat> I open doors for these young coming youngsters. When I played the for Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs after me the old Abu Shavun, mm. Jabu Pule. Junior Kanye, you mentioned about Scappy. Abu Scappy Malati, Abu Tantla Gubega in Chiefs. Mm. Then the other side, the Clement Mazibu was yeah. playing Osan in Fasan Downs. You know about Tinan, Tinan, Tinan Masaban, Masanabo. Yeah. Currently now, Abu Lonabo, Musanya Tamba, Humphrey Mluani. Mm. You mentioned a lot of players, uh, King, Sister Monica, Siangapi. Yeah. You know, great legends. Mm. Buddha Matati, the site, you know, mm. will be united. So I think the talent is there. You can even see the festive games because normally I do festive games uh, streetwise. Like mm. there's a game that I'm doing every December mm -hmm. in the dusty grounds. So you find talent there. You find talent there. It's so unfortunate now the scouts they are not coming to watch this game. Yeah, they are not coming. That's where the talent is. So I think that here in Davidson we've got quality players. Which, in fact, we need a team now. I'm yeah. praying that one day God will help me have that fi uh, funding. Probably I'll start my team there. Mm. Make sure that because I've seen talent, I'm seeing talent this side. Mm. It, there's a lot of talent. Yeah, because people are stuck for professional football. Yeah. It's, ta it's a problem. Mm. It's a problem there because there's no more. Then you know about Jomason. Jomason used to go in this uh, dusty street and watch uh, this talent mm. and make sure that they take them to this. A big teams, but it's mm. not my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it's happening somewhere, but here in Delhi, I don't see the spots. Mm. But I'm trying. And um, you just mentioned the rabbits now. Uh, I know a lot of people in this area. The rabbit is their spiritual club. Yes. Yeah. Everybody else <laughs> loves that club. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but they support something else. Yeah. Now you are in a difficult position because uh, the rabbit is a spiritual club for you. You play for both Houston Pirates. Yeah. Now I'm going to put you on the spot here and say, between Chiefs and Pirates, which one <sighs> talks to you? Which one, which one you love more between the two teams? Look, it, 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 it's not about love. I must say that uh, it's because I would say I, I still have a soft spot for Kaiser Chiefs mm. because I, I played my professional football. That's where. I started my career and that's where I, I, I nature my talent. My talent was recognized there at Chiefs. Poland Lanya was known at Chiefs. So playing overseas because of I went from Chief to, to overseas. Hence Pirates, I know supporters. Uh, Pirates is a good team. It's a it's a it's a it's a rival. But at the same time, you know, going from Chief Playing for Orlando Pirates, uh, look, it was something else. Hence, we are saying not everyone will do that. Uh, it was a business move. Mm. But at the same time, that thing, it gives me the profile. You see, profile like Poland did this. Mm. Everyone knows now Poland from, he was playing for Chiefs, he played for, for Kaya to Pirates. That thing brings the profile for me that uh, I did well for this country, mm. irrespective of yeah. Yes. Mm. Poland, we're going to start wrapping up now. Uh, there's a lady behind the camera here. She's going to beat me up if I, if I go over time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bafana. Yeah. Like we touched on earlier, that it was not easy eh, to play for Bafana and Bafana Bafana during those days. And you, you, you did it. You were a regular Bafana international. Yeah. Ah. You know, I'm proud of myself. You know, when to play for Kaiser Chiefs, you played for Parade, you played for Bafana Bab. You play overseas. Mm. What else do you want? Mm. 
because you have your profile is up to there. Mm. Bafana Bafana, it was not easy that hand to sing. Quality players I played with, very experienced players, and I manage. I managed to succeed and be claim the, my my position there. Mm. Although it was not easy, as you say. Mm. Benny McCarthy was there striking. I'm talking about striking for the other striker. Sean Buckley, you know, about Sean Buckley, Phil Massing, the, yeah, the, 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 the late Phil Massing. We had quality players, the whole team. But for me, it, it's a good profile for me. Everyone knows that Poland played for Bafana Bafana and I scored some few goals there. Mm. I remember the goal I scored in Confederation Cup there in, in, in Saudi Arabia. Mm. We played the Uruguay, I dribbled past the goalkeeper. It was a classic goal. Yeah, and also go to Mozambique. I scored some few goals there, mm. which is good for me. And once you score in your t uh, Bafana Bafana uh, team, you present your country. Look, everyone wants to play for the team. National team mm. by scoring, you make your mark. Yeah. You make the mark if you score mm. as a striker. Any any regrets with Bafana? Maybe a tournament you missed, you should have been, you felt, you know, there's always lots of politics with Bafana. Yeah, no, you know, uh, I don't want to regret, I don't want to regret because I did well, but uh, I, I wish, I wish I can all the time go back, take the time, go back, you know. Because I never played in the World Cup. Yeah. That thing I would never say really regrets, you know, because there was one time where I thought I would play in the World Cup uh, when uh, Philip Trousseau was the coach. But unfortunately, I was not selected. Mm. But I was keep on, um, what do you call Keep on pushing. Pushing that and also supporting my, my country. Mm. Uh, look, it happens. You know, everything has a reason. Mm. So if you didn't get this, one day your doors will open. Mm. But one day, who knows? One day Poland Lani will be one of the best coach, maybe for Bafana Bafana. Why not? Mm. 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 That's my dream, just to plow back to the to the, the community. To the community yeah. yes. Now, sh uh, short questions. The best player you played against, the defender who, <laughs> who gave you a nightmare. Yes. <laughs> wow. I see me, so rest in peace. Hey, Papi. Oman. Oh, Oman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's very, very intelligent and very quick. He was not strong. He was skinny, but he was not very strong. But he was very quick. Uh, my advantage was like I was strong on the ball. He couldn't take the ball too. So that's, that was a strong uh, point. Mm -hmm. But look, he was very clever and we always be like fighting. Not fighting like physically, but in the field of play, but outside we are friends. We are just great friends, he phone, it, phone mm. me, we always mm. phone each other, you know. But people, the supporters, they will un not understand. When we are fighting there, they will think that all oh, these people, yeah, mm. no, mm. we are friends. Mm. Yeah, but he's the one who was very demeaning and like me. And um, the best player that you played with as a teammate, <laughs> or players? You mean, you mean the team? Yeah, that you played within the team. Yeah. Can be Bafana, can be a club, can be whatever. You mean from, they must start from goalkeeper until... No, no, the, no, no, the, the, the one, just one or two players, the best player that you say, I... The best player? Yeah, that you played with. Wow, yes, you put him on spot. There are a lot of best players that I played with. Mm. There are a lot, you know, can mention. But I must say that very intelligent and clever because the she late shakes one. Yeah. And it happened, it was my friend. Mm. Very intelligent, left footed. And the way he makes this game easy, he can talk to this uh, yeah, ball. Yeah. Passing, you know him. He yeah. Very intelligent. A <laughs> lot of players there, I can mention, he made them stars. Yeah. The late Sheikh Kuan was the great one. Uh, Paul Dolores says he looked there, he passed there. He frustrated my players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and sadly, we don't have such players anymore. Yeah? At all, at all. Yeah. You know, in a derby, I always tell people, in a derby, you know those days, days in a derby, before the game, it, they will see the picture of Paul and Daniel and Papi Homan. Oh, Jerry Kosani, Papa Kodenjan. Other side, Sheikh Kumwan is difficult. Mm. You see, 
Stephanie Quilly at Paris. When you hold the ball facing the defenders, take the ball. You will stand up. Everyone, other side, take a take. You know, you don't see anymore. There's nothing like that. At now, on the center snow. Mm -hmm. There's no player that you can dribble, maybe something, make the crowd like so exciting. There's nothing like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if because the coach is or what. But we don't know. Mm -hmm. The derby, mm -hmm. that's why the derby is not. It's like not that. what it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Ram Baloy says it's like Deb and July. <laughs> you just go there to show the fresh air and they take the selfie and that's it. You see, that's the thing. You, you, I'm, I'm sorry, you look at the players, there's no hunger. When they go to check the field, wearing those things, uh, the radio listen to you can see that they're not focused. Mm. And the, the pants are here. Yeah. You see, you can see they are pompous. They, they, no. Okay, it's fine. Go in the field. No first touch. There's nothing first touch. You can't even pass. It's so sad, man. A, a professional player, you can't even control the ball. Eh? A professional player, mm. you can't even control the passing. It's worse. It's not good, yeah. Uh, the <laughs> best player you wished you could have played with, that you never played with. Y you mean local? A anyway, anyway. It was overseas. Be, yeah, I can be an international player. Any player that you say, I wish I could have played with this guy. You. You mean, he, 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 oh, look. Yeah, in the club, in that buffet, the national team. Even the current players are playing now. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, look, I can't always imagine myself uh, playing with uh, Lalo Messi. Mm. I can imagine getting that pass from Lalo Messi. Very intelligent player. Mm. That's my best player. I wish if I was still playing. Mm. Or maybe it had been just to not not playing again. Maybe meet him, shake hand. Yeah. Because that guy is something else. Mm. You can say whatever, but that guy is something else. He's the best there. That the, is the goat. Mm. Mm. Well, we're going to wrap up now. Uh, a lot of people, I guess, they would love to find out um, what are you doing now, what are you busy with? Look, uh, look, uh, uh, I'm still in football, local, trying to develop these youngsters. Not, I don't have an academy as such, but I make sure that at some point, there's the ground on the other side, just to make them just run around there. Mm. And as you see, there's pollen and uh, sport development. Mm. I normally do this December games, make sure that these youngsters December I take them away from the street, yeah. and make sure that they get teams in other teams. I'm I'm trying by my best, mm. Mm. although it's not easy in yeah. terms of funding, yeah. because you need a lot of funding, someone to to, to support you. Mm. But hopeful one day things will come right. Make sure that we produce young players. Second last question. Someone whispered in my ear that you play golf these days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my second sport. <laughs> you know, golf, I love golf. Yeah. I love golf. Where it started when during Bafana Bafana, Clive Baga. Yeah. During those days, Clive Baga used to say, look guys, it's a break. This this day, we don't, on Wednesday, normally not training. Mm. Where you want to go, you want to do your hair, whatever. And you guys, let's go and play golf. I used to go with the whites. Mm. I went in two of those where I double Eric Tinkler mm. to go play golf. That's mm. where I started my love, mm. playing golf. Then I came back and then I bought my small set of clubs just yeah. to go there. Mm. Uh, but now I'm playing with Handicap 12. Mm. Uh, I'll kill you. Mm. One day I'll invite you to play. So that's why the other day the call just rang and answered because we were busy playing golf. I was, <laughs> I was being called. Sorry, man. I was being called. I was invited in one day a charity golf. Yeah. Game, yeah. yeah. But I was yeah. playing and yeah. I even won the prize yesterday. Yeah. No, that's I, good. Yeah. I thanks. Um, that's very good. Yeah. Nice. Um, Trombis, last question. Um, if you, I don't know which camera you are on. If you were this one, if you were just to look into that camera and talk to. Chiefs players. <laughs> Just give them a message because uh, we all agree that um, this club is is, 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 is is in a complete mess. Um, having represented this club, having won the league for this club and trophies. If you were to talk to these current players, what will you say? There's your camera. Uh, the trophies. Look, I said it clear to, to you guys uh, during my interview. Look, to don that jersey, everyone wants to play for Kaiser Chiefs. I don't know whether the players they are realizing. You are realizing that when you wear that jersey, 
you must perform because this is a big team. It's not just an ordinary team. Just go there and perform. Give 110%. I know it's not easy. It's very difficult. It is very difficult. It's a lot of pressure. But try everything. When you go in the field of play, you remember you're not playing for yourself. You're playing for your family. You're playing for that team, that brand, that logo. Make sure that you go and perform that. Because if you do well uh, playing for that team, I can guarantee you, you can play overseas, you can be selected, call up from the national team, everyone. You'll buy, you know, when you do well, everyone, the supporters, when you move around the street, they'll buy food for you. You'll be like a, <laughs> uh, you know, a hero. Yeah. Make sure you, you, you perform. Mm. Don't do those things you are doing now because, guys, you're very disappointing. But I have the belief in you. I trust you. You can do well. Go and do well. Keep up the good work. Hopefully, kid achieves it. Too. Do well. We'll get back to where it was. Yeah. Aish, mm. aish. But everything in his casa. Um, Pollen, Trumpis, and Zanya, thank you very much. Um, the reason why we do this here on Prime Sports with Matlats is because we, we want to celebrate um, the people. Um, I was still a little bit young and, young, and I was still in school there. I used to go watch you guys at Caledonian. Yeah. I used to go watch you guys uh, in uh, HMPJ, yes, yes. at Loftus, at Maripe, the old FNB, the old Orlando. Yeah, and uh, you know, hence sometimes I think I'm a little bit harsh on the current footballers because yes, I grew up yes, with your football. Yes, true. Uh, you mentioned Abu uh, Sheikh Sheikh Kuman. Yeah. You mentioned Abu Pazuga oh, yeah. uh, Abu Eskuze, yes, um, yes. Abu Chesi Kun uh, Abu Mambush. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the players that I know. Yeah, great you know, players. You know, Dr. Tenza, hey. Moloi, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, you know, I know it's not right to, 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 to compare, but you know, um, the quality is just not the same. And we are here to honor you. Yeah, uh, I know in South Africa we play around with this word legend a lot. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, you, are a, you, are a, you are a legend in the true sense of the word. Uh, you, you did your thing. And uh, maybe in closing, I forgot to ask this question of Bafana and your club in Europe. I was going to make a mistake, actually. Yeah. Um, you, because of your commitment and love for, for, for your country, you forfeited your contract in 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 in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Turkey to come and play for Afan Afan. You know, it's so touching, man. It's so touching. People didn't know. You raised a point where people didn't know. I, I used to play for Bursa Sport, but I had to forfeit my contract because of Bafana Bafana. Because I love my country. There was this club which just a country. Mm. So it happens that you, at some point you will be collapsed a call up for the national team that side they will send their facts they won't show you the club will never allow you to come and play for the mm. and it, it doesn't make sense to me so because i love the country i had to make a decision that i, I quit the I'm contract yeah. then come and play for my for my country mm. but i don't regret hopefully when one you day, lost money there yeah? A lot of money, but it's not about money, but it's about love of the country. Yeah, of the country. But it's, I don't regret it. Mm. It happens later. Mm. Mm. Hence, I'm saying, you guys, you are the star. I mean, talking about profiling us, I, I really appreciate. I really appreciate because without you guys, Mr. Maslas, without the media, we are nothing. Mm. People, they forget us. Mm. At least now, you, be, we, you make us famous again. Mm. You know, so that people, they still... Poland. Can you imagine? Me, you know? The youngsters don't know you. They don't know me. They don't know me. <laughs> but well, now that you have changed your hairstyle, also you are different now. <laughs> uh, Trumpis, thank you very much. Uh, you we so can. Much. We, I think I appreciate we can. We can. We can talk. We can talk for the whole for the whole day. Uh, it was nice. It was very nice. Uh, uh, no yeah. visiting you. Thanks, man. Um, thank you very much, and uh, we, we truly, truly honor you. And uh, for me, I think that's my camera. Uh, this has been. Um, uh, an emotional interview for yeah, me because true. this is one of the people that I grew up watching in football true. and uh, I hope you will definitely enjoy this uh, this interview sitting with the legend himself yeah. Paul and Trump is live.